Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorio C Block. This is episode 389. And yeah, we just scaled up our efficiency module production a little bit. I'm not too worried about it, but it's it's uh, a bottleneck mainly for the assembly bots. Um yeah, we're still making these guys, which makes sense. Yeah. And let's just check uh, for black chips where the limit is. What's the what's the dealio? Uh, you guys, you are limited by blue chips. Same for you, probably. Uh, you're actually okay, yeah, but you're you are limited by blue chips, and blue chips are limited by red chips, and red chips are limited by. Let's see, you were off for a bit, okay. Uh, what about you guys? Maybe like up here? Yeah, you guys? So you're limited by aluminum plates still. Um, did I forget an output chest for you guys? No, I clearly didn't. So what's the deal? I guess we need some more aluminum uncorking. Let's see, we're doing that. No, okay, so this is um, just ingots. Then we need to make those into coils, which I'm not sure we've set up yet. Nope, doesn't look like it, okay. We'll set up uh, aluminum into coils then, and then we'll need some extra uncorking. Wait, uh, yeah, and this was for red chips. Yeah, that makes sense because we have been scaling up, scaling up green chips nicely, but uh, a lot of that is going towards uh, the power uh, power panels. Speaking about power panels, are we ready to issue another one? Yeah, I think so. We we just really we can't stop doing this. Like we we just need to keep pushing pushing power. Okay, that's one, that's two. And we're gonna issue some landfill with that. We just keep the, the construction bots going. Right, yeah, that's the correct uh, area. There we go, there we go. Okay. And return a little bit. Yep, we're good. Okay. So. You guys are actually... Oh, we forgot one of you. You should be up here as well. That's better. Okay. Yeah. So, these guys are all good. But then we want to go aluminum coils. So for mass scalability, we might want to like go like go the other way. That's actually, yeah, that seems like a better use of space, like, like going this way, like branching this down and then into the different machines. Let's, uh, yeah, it's actually, we could do, we could, uh, bring, bring both of them like down down here and then start doing that from here on out like moving down here that seems fine yeah let's do that that seems uh neat um let's see you guys are actually not the stuff we need this is the stuff we need and this is the the line where we need to get rid of it um but we can get you in here and then the used coolant from here. There we go. Yeah, and then we're gonna set up a nice and crispy aluminum smelting. Oops, that might have been a little bit greedy. Okay, there we go. 
Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is strength casting machine. Uh, like this. Uh, you're gonna be aluminum coils. We're gonna run this like a switch. So this is the used coolant and here we have the, the other one. Yeah. There we go. Then we probably need two induction furnaces. One. So we'll run that like this and like this. And actually we might want to connect the the fluids pipes, right? That's there's not really a reason why we shouldn't, I think. So let's do that as well. That way it's it sort of evens out. Um Yep, so you guys are gonna be doing Oh yeah, we need to choose between these. Okay, I think we're using the manganese for iron, so we can we can go with this. Yeah, or we can easily get that. So that's good. Then we have this and this and this. Then we have you guys. And you guys, so that's the wrong one. There we go. And then we copy this and you're gonna pick up from here. Okay, and then we're gonna copy this whole setup. Like this. And just connect this up. And connect. Ah, man, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so let's move you, move this guy over here and let you drop over there. And we'll uh, just destroy you and put the coils in the network. They'll get eaten. Um, yep, so we have these guys. And then we'll expand that a couple times. Uh, like this. Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah, and then the only issue is that down here we need to copy just this part once more. There we go. Okay. We should be good to go then. Yeah. This guy's limited. So this looks like it's gonna be a little bit overkill, but it's I really don't think it is. Um yeah, and then we'll uncork the, the coils up there. If we look at the... Yeah, I think we can just do like the 6 with the level 1 productivity modules. That should be fine. Yeah, like uh, up here. We have this whack-ass machine, but uh, I think like one of you guys... Yeah, this is the long one, right? So we'll set it up 1, 2... One, two, three. Uh, requester chest. You're going to be doing mm -hmm. this stuff. There we go. Chop, chop. Uh, yep, copy this over. Passive provider chest. Uh, just limit you guys and put in a power pole. Um, yeah. Mm, let's make sure you're gonna get enough. You should, but just on, to be on the safe side. And how are, are you guys doing? Waiting for source items. Yeah, we're still not getting... Let's see, circuits. Yeah, we're still not really having the green circuits we want either. And if we look at this... Yeah, there's still a little bit, a little bit of an iron shortage. So yeah, you're, we're gonna copy you guys again. Just to make sure we have enough. Yeah, like over here, there's still a shortage too. So we really need to start consuming that stuff. Uh, if we look at bots, 
Logistics, fine. Construction's a little tight. But they're, they're making it out. It's, uh, I guess it's mostly about, yeah, it, it is really about landfill. Like they managed to do all the, like, because the way we've set it up, like the, the robots got built first. So now they're just going for all the landfill. How, how much of that do we have? Sand, not too much actually. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we had enough to, uh, yeah, to get scheduled, but, uh. That's really all there is. Okay. Yeah, and these guys are still like um, production-wise, like they're not really. Um, we could, yeah. Actually, let's let's just put in modules just to uh, be sure, and then. Wait, you were, were you output limited? Looks like you were, okay. But ju just for a second. That is okay. But yeah, basically everything we're making here gets scheduled immediately. And if we look at panels, where are we at then? We have 1.2K, which means these guys are working and the ones that we have on the bus are not. That is actually correct. Okay, that's good because that means that we have green circuits for science. Um, oh, we're actually short on pink. That's interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess that's still like a, a side effect from... Let's see, we're short on, yeah, we're short on these guys uh, because we're short on the wood stuff because we're short on, okay, that I didn't expect. Cobalt wheels, which are coming in here because we're short on cobalt steel plates, uh, which we would be making somewhere over here, yeah. Uh, we definitely are, but if this is the only place, then, oh, you're not making more because here we don't have the cobalt because, oh, this got, okay, that's uh, real stupid. Uh, let me fix that. That's interesting. Classic, oops, I turned the belt sort of thing. Yeah, that's uh, been a while since we had that. And let's see, you guys are out of Roboport range. Okay, we can do something about that. Here you go. And then we are going to be fine, though. Okay. Yeah. We should have the cobalt somewhere up here. Yeah, now we're getting it to the point where we're missing the actual landfill. But that's okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cobalt. There we go. Okay. Well, yep, that's uh, annoying. Um, yeah. These guys are doing fine. These guys are doing okay, I guess. Yeah, sometimes they're passed, but that's because of output issues. Yeah, I mean, I guess we need more uncorking even. Let's do two more. Uh, let's check what module yeah we have the modules in the in the network to make that happen so we just might not have the robots to place them
Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. Basically, for the critical chain, we're really lacking the only the. Oh, this is the long one. Yeah. So I put these guys down, but. Yeah, and these are actually also all being eaten. So maybe we should copy those over here as well. Yeah. In that case, we don't have all the modules. So I'm just going to make a small round trip to make sure that every machine that needs those has the prot1 modules. And we're making... A nice amount of artillery shells still. That's all good. And you guys are still waiting for blues. Yeah. Okay, so we have these guys. So let's just quickly place them and give them modules. There we go. And then check out the iron and corking. It does make a lot of sense to do it locally, but the problem is that we can't really enforce that, right? So we could have the case where we're trying to do this for local purposes, but then they fl they're flying it around the map anyway, because we're underdoing it in other places. Um, I mean. It's not that problematic, but it, it is kind of ugly. Uh, we're just gonna strengthen. That's not good. Um, that's over there. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, issue some uh, attacks then. Retaliate. They're not quite in range, so yeah. Uh, they're gonna drop over here and pick up over here. Uh, actually pick up over here and then you're gonna pick up over here and drop over here okay we're gonna add that everywhere there we go okay so that should keep them working constantly okay. yeah they're still not all really fat but uh yeah what you gonna do? Do we want to build another field full of these? Um, solar. Yeah, my solar panel. The solar panel production is actually now outpacing the landfill production, which is interesting. If we look at the power. Yeah, we're actually. Yeah. On the one hand, we're not in bad shape. On the other hand, we're not exactly in good shape either. So I think we just want to add some more of these bad boys. Oh, and actually, I guess we need a little bit of uh, artillery defense to make that happen. We have one of you guys up here. We can copy that over. Like um, here seems fine. We're going to need a little bit of uh, clearing before we can push further. Oh, why are you guys mad? Oh, you you have too much uh, mineralized water. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, eat that then. Um, you, yeah, half of them are not working and the other half... No, okay, those are not working because and you guys are not working because you still, yeah, sometimes you have the, the byproduct as output and then you're just showing us past. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so the issue is, um, yeah, where are we going to do this? I guess we can do it like at the end here or something. Like just, just drag one up and then do it up here. That seems okay. Um, yeah, this is still not connected to the main network, right? So we can safely just put down a bunch of uh, crystallizers and just eat eat it all. Okay, 
Okay, you guys are gonna be doing this stuff. And you're all gonna put it into some active providers. Uh, which are gonna be, I guess, on this side because that makes this guy easier. We're gonna put down a roboport up here, some power like uh, this. Yep, and you guys are gonna be dropping here. There we go, and then we need to connect this up. And then we're gonna eat the mineralized water. You're gonna need to be charged, and then we'll be good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so these guys should be going again. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, that might have been part of the issue, right? Um, if we look over here, sulfur dioxide gas is, is running a little low. Uh, we do have a ton of sulfur in the network, though, so let's make sure this keeps going. Um, yeah. I mean, we need the oxygen to make it, I think. But yeah, we should have an, a decent amount of that at least. So yeah, I mean, we can just top that off up here and then we'll be okay. Um, so let's set that up. Get those chemical plants too. Request some stuff. Yeah, we want uh, sulfur. That's not a word. So, for dioxide gas. Yep. Okay. That's easy enough. So, we'll bring in the oxygen up here. Like this. Whoops. Not like that, though. Like this. There we go. Uh, and we'll bring in the sulfur dioxide gas. I think on top of health would be nice though. So let's make that happen. There we go. And... Oh, actually I wanted these guys for this. We still can't quite make it, but uh, I think it's worth it. Okay, then we'll do this and this. You will go... Um, oh, wait, this is the wrong way around, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Drop. Oh. Yeah, okay. We'll power this stuff. And we'll request the sulfur that we need. Uh, yeah, let's make that 200. That seems fair. And then put in some. I mean, these guys do need a ton. No, I actually do need uh, the power poles as well. Uh, is that gonna cover it? I don't think it is. But we could extend it a little bit like this. This should be enough. And my guess is, is if it's not enough, then at least we're going to run out of oxygen instead. So that's uh, nice, I guess, in some ways. Um, let's see. What are you guys doing? You're not, not short on wooden plate just yet. And you guys are actually... In re no, you're not in reasonable shape. You're actually... So the issue here is actually not so much that we don't have the wooden wooden plate. It's that the delivery limits are actually kind of low. 
Like these guys are just so fast. So yeah, that's okay. You guys are running, that's good. And I'll just place the, the requester chest just to make sure that the silver already gets delivered. There we go. Yeah, we can make some of these guys go uh, go around and then uh, should be good. A little bit short on purified water up here. Um, but these guys are actually a little bit longer, so we can uh, safely do uh, this. Okay, we can safely do this. There we go. Just extend this bit, right? Or are we short on... We're short on normal water here as well. Okay. Uh, let's get in an offshore pump then. We might need a couple. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So one up here as well. Is that going to be better? Slightly. We're using a ton of water here. So let's just get a, a couple of pumps in. I don't know if we're going to have flow issues, but I'll just set it up like this. Uh, and like this then. That gonna be better? Looks like it is. Yeah, that is. Okay. Um that should help the purified water a little bit, but I'm just to be sure I'm gonna extend you guys a little bit. Like that. Yeah, that seems fine. That's gonna double purified water input and that means we could copy it like as a four unit. Ah, we're still getting some circuit uh, accomplishments, which is nice. This is actually set up properly now. How about for you guys? Yeah. Or actually, these guys are still a little low on some stuff, but they're actually... Yeah, it looks like uh, most of them get to work. Okay. Well, in that case... We should be scaling some stuff up, I guess. But what? Yeah, just more red circuit production. Let's look how, how blue circuit's looking now. Um, You're still short on something. You're short on the electronic components. Yeah, that's just these guys. Okay. And you're short on the wafers. Okay, well... I have no idea why we make those and what's the deal with them. Okay, I guess we should be putting monosilicon in the network and then maybe we are actually. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, so if we just put monosilicon in the net or just uncork that up here, then we should be good. These guys are doing fine. How are we on the solar panels? We're actually nearing 2k, so that would mean that those guys would shut down. So I guess that's... Uh, yeah, it would be time to uh, to build more, but we can't quite yet. Yeah, let's cut this episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.